listening Ricky J Sports. Hey, what's going on sports fans? This is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports and welcome to a Hockey Ultimate Team update video. And I haven't put up one of these videos for a while, but I wanted to show you guys my progress in Hockey Ultimate Team. And right now I'm in a stagnant situation. I'm in Division 1, believe it or not. And just for the record, I've never spent a dime in on this mode or in any mode I play. And I've never received any bonus pucks from EA Sports because our channel really isn't big at all. So they just kind of overlook us, right? So everything that we've done has been a nice hard hat kind of blue collared kind of style. Just by grinding it out and playing good brand, a good brand of hockey, excuse me. And that's how we did it, man. Now, <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I've been complaining about the higher divisions for a while. You can't compete against some of these teams if you do not want to spend some coin. Like if you look at my team right now, we just look like just, you know, that solid middle of the road team. But when you face these Division 1 cats, these guys, you know, they spent their allowance on their team with superstars in their lineup. And for us, you know, we kind of just have, you know, your regular, you know, all-stars. We have some all-stars, but just your regular good guys in the NHL. And it's really tough when you're competing against 90 plus skaters. But I'm not saying I'm doing poorly. I'm really hanging tough against these Division 1 guys. I've been in Division 1 now for a couple months, but I can't seem to win a title. Right now I'm kind of in a slump. I've lost three games in a row. And without further ado, I'm going to showcase this next game. And if I win, I tell you right now, I'm going to be talking positive. You know how it does, you know how it works. But if I start losing, man, I'm going to be Dr. Negative. So here we go. Let's do this. So we take it up here, boys. First period. This guy's dangling around. And I chase him. Look at that. Three of my guys went after him. And then he popped it in. A nice little goal by Couture there. And I'm already down one nothing. Nothing's changed when you're playing Division One. But here we go first period this guy's kind of dilly-dallying with the puck he kind of it caroms off the side there a little weird and then I break out drop pass you got to be creative pass to the side oh and it trickles in a broken play but when you're in division one you need to be creative you just can't rush it up the side or up the middle you got to utilize drop passes be unpredictable in your offensive game because those Division 1 guys will pick up on your style if you keep on going for the cross crease but or you know the shot or whatnot so it's 1-1 heading into the first still 1-1 we are still in the first period here and I break out with my defense going in looking for something nothing there so I'm being patient with the puck looking taking a nice shot it got blocked by my own guy and then I center it five hole and I'm up 2-1 which I'm happy about because like I said in Div 1 I'm always fighting from behind here but I'm down two guys here and this guy's on the power play he takes a shot I make a nice little block here but he's holding the puck looking oh and I'm breaking out I get my two guys back and it is a two on oh the one on oh and oh empty net and I miss but cleaning up the mess was my nice little left winger there but I can't believe that my guy missed an empty net but need a rire cleaning up the mess I was going crazy there I'm up two goals and look at this look at this oh you know a tight player could score there anyone could score on an empty net but I'm up by two goals at the end of one and I'm thinking that this is gonna be an easy victory and look at this guy he's trying to get into my head dropping the gloves a lot of guys in Div 1 they don't want to mess with fighting I like it the the lower divisions it's like the old beer league everybody wants to brawl and fight but when you get into those high level divisions these guys they don't want to waste time they want to just rack up their ranking but right here this guy's trying to get in my head but Fnuf is holding his own I find when you're fighting I should do a tutorial on fighting you always got to counter and go with the uppercut because if you miss with the uppercut, it's not that bad of a negative outcome compared to going with the overhand right. So anyway, it's 3-1. Things are looking good. But again, I'm facing a Div 1 guy and I shoot the puck in my own net. 
and I couldn't believe that. But I was still feeling good at this point because technically he didn't get the best of me in that exchange there. I just scored on my own net. But it's 3-2 and later on in the period he is putting the pressure on me. I can't get that puck. Look at this and I'm trying to clear it and he does a nice job blocking my pass and then that is just smart play right there. You got to hand it to the guy. He blocked my outlet pass and then scored and this game is tied in the third period. And remember when I was up 3-1 I had all the confidence in the world and now I'm just unsure. Look at me right here looking for options. Niederreier trying to make a pass and here comes Coyle with oh what a save and there's only 50 seconds left and his goalie saved the game for him but he makes a little mistake on the breakout and look at that just tucking it in nicely a nice little tuck in and that's with 45 seconds left so technically I bear down in this game again and I and I saved the game with a nice little play right at the end. I had the game and then I let it slip away and then I got it back. But that's how Division 1 games are. I feel like, let me know if you guys who, who are in Division 1, you just never have the game in your hands at any moment. You could be up by three goals in the second period and your opponent could make an epic comeback. So you just never feel comfortable. I miss the days being in Division 10 winning like 11-1, but those days are far behind. But like I said, right now I'm at a stagnant situation because my team's not getting better. I refuse to spend money on improving my team. So I don't want to spend the money, but I guess I have to keep on grinding out the games. But I find that, you know, <laughs> I stay at Division 1 for a bit, then I get dipped down to Division 2, and then I go back to Division 1. But anyway, I'll stop complaining. It's a great division. It's a great game. I'll see you guys later. This is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports, and you are awesome. Hey, boys, before you take off, I want you to check out some of my videos. On the top left, you have my first ever online ranked match, and it was epic because it barely lasted like four minutes. And on the top right, you have my internet tough guy video where I just imitate and mock all the NHL 16 internet characters that you meet throughout your play. And in the middle of this screen right now, I have the standings for the Ricky J MMA League. And we are winding down. We only have one more event, which will be this Saturday, February 6th. And we will crown the inaugural Ricky J MMA champ and the winner will get a nice little gift package. But when we're through with that, we're gonna start season two and feel free to jump on board. All you have to do is just predict the main event and co-main event of the various UFC events. All right, people, this is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports and you are awesome and I'm out of here. See you later.